Good morning, good morning. It's uh, 7.30 and I am going to Istanbul today. Very excited. I just have like three minutes before I have to go. I'm wearing um, just a jumper, leather jacket, sneakers, and leggings. Haven't had a coffee yet. Need to get to the airport. So I'm about to go head on the train then get on the Gatwick Express because I'm here in London at the moment. I will show you guys everything that I get up to there. I'm like so excited. So we'll we'll see what happens, but I know that the markets are incredible and the mosque is beautiful. So for now, let's go. just arrived to the hotel and even though Istanbul is a three hour and 55 minute flight from London, it takes much longer to get here because of the time change and then they have a new airport which is really big and we taxied forever so I'm like a little bit tired at the moment but it's also exciting to be here because I haven't been in like six or seven years so the plan now is to just chill for a minute. I did a bunch of work on the plane, so luckily I don't have to do that now. And then go to a surprise dinner, which I'm very much looking forward to. So for the moment, exactly now, I will have a glass of red wine. Here is the view. So that is the Bosphorus out there and the beautiful pool. I will go check everything out here later, but I have to get ready for dinner very shortly. So, but tomorrow's gonna be a very full on day, getting up super early for like full, full tourist day, which I'm really, really excited for. But for now, we have a glass of wine. ready to go. Put on my Mew Mew backless dress. Very simple, very chic. Can I offer you a photo? Yes. Just arrived at Mikla. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that absolutely terribly because I cannot speak Turkish for the life of me. However, can we talk about this place? These views are amazing. So I'm here for sunset, although there's quite a few clouds so you can't get the, the full experience of it. But nonetheless, it is beautiful and this is one of the best chefs in Turkey, or he's known to be. So I'm very excited to try just about everything on the menu. It's beautiful light, and of course the girl with her light has to take some selfies, and 
tomorrow, I don't actually know where anything is, so tomorrow I'm gonna learn. I do know that's the mosque over there. There's a mosque, but it's Ramadan at the moment, so there's not so many people out, and the normal night crowd that would be out is not out at the moment, so I guess I'll have to make up for that tonight. It is 9.30, had a very fun eventful night last night, lots of alcohol and red wine, but that's okay, we feel good, kind of. And uh, going off to explore today, it is a stunning day outside, so I'm very much looking forward to this. And we're in a leather jacket, which with this is beautiful soul. And then just like cute walking outfit, so, and hair. I don't know what my hair's looking like. It's a little funkadelic, but I'm definitely one of the only blondes in this city. So I stand out a little bit. But off to some mosques and super excited to get some legit real Turkish food, like hummus, all the things. So off we go. Oh my god, hi pretty cat. So it's the only place in the world, I believe, that is both known as a church and a mosque. And so it's a very, very sacred space for all people that come here. And obviously lots of selfies going on and videos such as myself. But you can see it is a stunning place. scarf because women are not allowed to go in while showing their head and their hair so let's see if we can do this properly I actually have no idea how to do it good voila 
finished at the Blue Mosque and inside unfortunately they're doing so much construction so I couldn't really show you guys that much but it was not as beautiful as the Church of St. Sophia so that's okay I'm showing you one amazing place but oh it's so cool I took like a million photos now it's off to get some serious Turkish food I mean serious hopefully local Turkish food. Local real Turkish food. Cheesy. Best in town. Best in town. Yeah. Thank you for coming here, very nice. Very nice, thank you.
course, I found a baklava shop. My favorite ever! finally home. That was a whirlwind of a day. The shopping markets are crazy. There's so many people. I am pooped. I'm so tired and I'm in my bathrobe laying here. I have like six uh, plasters on my feet for blisters from walking so much. But what an amazing place. It's a, a very, very busy city. I just took a shower as well because I felt a little a little dirty after just like walking everywhere, but incredible place. Can't wait to explore tomorrow. So. Good morning, everyone. It is, actually it's not morning, it is afternoon. And I'm just back from the Hammam Spa, which was such a treat. I didn't get to really take you guys in there, unfortunately, because I was naked and uh, I mean, I wish I had though because they had, I had like bubbles everywhere. So if you guys haven't tried the hammam in Turkey or if you ever come here, definitely do. They like exfoliate you. You walk in this room, it's like this marble you lay on or this big stone. And then yeah, they exfoliate you. They put all these bubbles on you, give a little massage. Then she dripped uh, honey and rose water on me. Like, or I mean, did like a full body mask. Then gives you a little more massage, washed my hair for me, and good to go. So I worked out this morning as well, slept in a little bit, and now, sadly, I'm all packed and leaving Istanbul. It was a very quick two days, but totally worth it. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video of what I did, what I saw, what I ate here in Turkey. It feels like a little bit of a whirlwind and I know I'll be back soon so I'll show you guys more but if you guys liked this video please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and let me know if you guys have been to Turkey before or Istanbul, what your thoughts are and if there's anywhere else that you want me to travel to and I mean do all the fun things and share, share a video on, let me know. And if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please do so because new videos come out every single week and I have so many good things in the works for you. So until next time, I'm not going to say au revoir because I don't live in Paris anymore, but until next time, see you later. <laughs>